guys, Etika from the Etika World Network here. I initially made a video talking about the announcement of the Xenoblade Chronicles X English trailer tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern Time earlier, but the video kind of fucked up, so you didn't really get to see my first reaction. I actually got pretty excited though. This is exciting for a lot of reasons, considering that the last time we got an American Nintendo Direct, well, I shouldn't say American rather, but English Nintendo Direct for Xenoblade Chronicles X, it was way back when we saw the exploration trailer, and I think that was back in February. There might have been another one after the fact, but I don't know for a 100% thing. Like, let me know in the comments if there was another one after that exploration trailer that we watched in that direct. But um, we're, we're, we're excited about this because this is probably going to showcase a whole lot of new stuff, but at the same time, I'm worried because it might not. I want to give a shout out to this dude, Wonder, well, this guy who wants Wonder Red and Smash for showing me this and here we go so if we analyze the page right the, excuse me the page right here we can see it says catch a Xenoblade Chronicles X video showcase on April 24th at 11 a.m. Pacific time to hear the latest about the game and keep watching after the showcase for a Nintendo Treehouse live presentation featuring the game so usually depending on what the game is like everyone does I usually stay or not depending on so I mean the fact of the matter is, is that we're going to get a whole lot of Xenoblade Chronicles information tomorrow the main concern I have, like I said though, actually I don't think I said it in this video because you know I'm thinking as to the video I did before, I'm concerned that the information that we're going to be getting in tomorrow's Direct may just be the information that we already saw from the Japanese Directs. So it may not be anything too new or too revolutionary or groundbreaking or any like big, big information that we don't know about yet, but it may just be. The thing is, is that Nintendo, they know that the Japanese information gets out. They, it gets around. So I'm hoping and praying that they have something interesting to showcase for us tomorrow. And in the gameplay treehouse after the fact, I'm sure we're going to be seeing a lot of things that we didn't really get to see from the Japanese Direct. Uh, hmm. 11 a.m. Pacific time. That actually is 2 p.m. Eastern time because Eastern time is three hours after. So I'm not sure what the conversions would be for other time zones, but you know, Google is your best friend in this situation. Now, in terms of what I'm going to be doing for the Direct, definitely watching through it myself, especially since now it's in English. Now, the thing you have to take into mind is that the only reason why I never, ever watched the Japanese Directs before is because since there was a language barrier, I didn't understand what they were saying. So it was difficult for me to try to get hype behind the Japanese Directs, seeing only gameplay and not really hearing the context or hearing exactly what works with what, or what exactly the situation was that I was looking at, it just made it for me to have a way watered down experience. So by the time I actually do get the translations, it will kind of be like, well, well, I already kind of saw this, so the information gets to me in pieces, and if it gets to me in pieces, then there's nothing really to get hype about right away. So I did make it a policy to not watch any of the Japanese directs until there are subtitles with them. but. We have an English one tomorrow. This is going to be great for everybody who's looking forward to this game coming out. And the main thing, even though you know we, we love to hear game features and whatnot, the main thing that everyone has on their minds right now is when the hell is this game coming out for an American release? It better not be holiday season this year. I'm hoping summertime, but then again, it's probably highly unlikely. I mean, it depends on how much they have translated and whatnot, but the game is coming out, like what, in like a week in Japan? Coming out in like a week? If not a week, then like in May. But either way, man, there's a whole lot to be excited for. And tomorrow, the main thing we're looking for is a release date. We're, I'm hoping for the end of summer. Please don't make it something like holiday season 2015. It would, it would suck to wait that long because the thing that they have to understand as well is that there's a lot of people that are hyped for this, but if Japan gets the game so much earlier than America, so much information is going to bleed over and it's going to make us have a diluted experience. And I feel like in 2015, or in years constantly going onward. It's just not as fair because information spreads now faster than it ever did before. And once this game comes out in Japan, we're gonna know everything about it, whether we want to or not. Spoilers will happen because the game will be released. I'm just hoping and praying that Nintendo kind of has the decency to say, okay, the game will come out in a month. American, you know, Australian, Europe, in a month. I'm hoping, but we don't know for a fact. Either way, let me know in the comments what you are most excited about seeing for Xenoblade in this direct tomorrow and like I said definitely tune into my channel to watch me watching through it if you care if you want to watch it with your boy then by all means you're more than welcome to I'll be watching it myself on my twitch page twitch.tv slash ethical world network go there to check it out but um yeah either way whether you're joining me or not it doesn't change the fact that there's a lot of information that's going to happen tomorrow but the main thing that we're hoping for is a date I'll talk to you in the next video take care of yourselves and of course as usual please have yourself a damn good one